What's up everybody, Philosopher here. I just really wanted to put out a quick video. This is not even gonna have any gameplay. This is just like an explanation video because I finally been getting a lot of conversation on the Reddit. Conversation, not, you know, just straight hate, which is wonderful for a change because it turns out I really like helping people more than ignoring people's bullshit. So that's cool. I'm glad that people are like engaging and asking questions. Um, there's no question that's dumb. The game doesn't tell you a lot, so I'm very, very happy to explain anything in excruciating detail that you want. But I've been getting a lot of comments and concerns about SP dropping and matchmaking being unfair and have you been accused of SP dropping and is this an SP dropped account, blah, blah, blah. So I wanted to explain the matchmaking and SP dropping a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to end with like a little segue about the neon shop. But um, long story short, I just recently made an account. It has 250 wins and six losses ever. Um, I have a very in-depth knowledge of the matchmaking system now and the gear hub system. Um, so everything that I'm about to say is not only is it 100% true, <laughs> but it is also applicable to 95% of the people out there that have five slot hangers. Okay, what I want to say specifically is, and I'm going to put this aside, the only way you can really cheat in this game, cheat the matchmaking, like people say, oh, this is a cheater, oh, they're SP dropping or cheating somehow. The only way you can do this is you plan it from the very beginning when you make your account and you don't unlock all of your hanger slots. That's the only way. If you see someone with five hanger slots unlocked they can no longer cheat so don't even bother accusing them and for reasons that i will explain in this video if they have if they have two two or three slots unlocked and the other two are still locked then then something fishy might be going on then you then you might have a case but if they have if, if they have like like when they have that six star fucking kill shot and four other crappy mechs and everyone's complaining, that's not a cheater. Sorry to say, you're making excuses for your losses. I promise you, their matches are not easy. The matchmaking will look at anything in your hangar. Not, 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 not that stuff that's not equipped, the stuff in your squad. It's gonna look at your entire squad and it's gonna look at the ranks of every mech and every weapon. It doesn't care about the pilots or the implants. You could put whatever pilots and implants you want but it's gonna look at the star ranking of your strongest weapon and mech. So if you have anything on anything that is five or six stars, you're gonna get five or, six, five or six star bots taking you out. That's why it is impossible to SP drop. If you have a six star surge or a six star kill shot and four other crappy mechs, you're going to go into a battle with five or six star bots and you're only gonna have one mech that you can use and your other four mechs are going to be like tissue paper because they're not going to be able to do anything to those bots. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're, you're not going to get easier bots. You're not going to get some kind of middle ground because you've dropped SP. It doesn't work that way. It knows. If you want evidence of this, I suggest, uh, I should say I recommend watching the Philosopher Show, the tournament round with Fox Things Up. Um, what you'll see is before the episode, I asked Fox specifically to build a hangar for this episode with me, and the requirements were nothing above four stars. Keep it to three stars if you can, but if you throw in something here or there that's four stars, that's fine. The reason for that is because you need to lower your rank, and your SP will drop when you lower the rank of your equipment, so I mean that's just naturally going to happen. But you can't accuse somebody of cheating if they're winning using two star or three star juggernauts and three star shotguns and jabs like that's not cheating like just because their hanger just because if they made their best team they could hit 6000 sp and right now they're 2000 sp 
they're not cheating just because they drop their SP. Their bots are going to be proportional to what they use because you can't shove something in there that doesn't belong. So what happened was he built his hangar for this match and we went into the first match and I knew immediately that something was wrong because when I sent out my Tangu, my four star Tangu, it got shredded up immediately and the weapons did nothing. So I took a look at his hangar and sure enough, everything was right, three or four stars, except one of his mechs had a five star disc launcher. The five star disc launcher alone, that one five star weapon was enough to tell all the bots we gotta be five stars. So we went up against hell. He took the five star disc launcher on, off and put on a regular three star weapon. Now my Tengu is shredding the enemy. Now my jumps are killing instantly. Now my RPGs are doing massive damage per hit. It's like playing a completely different game. Did I SP drop? Did I cheat? No, because I didn't go into the match with anything cheating or OP. I didn't go into the match with a five or six star weapon or mech. I just matched, I just made the bots fair to what I was going in. And that's what you need to understand. You can't SP drop to game the system, but you need to know how to balance your hangar if you want to get achievements on your old mechs or if you want to play fairly with someone that's new to the game. What if someone was watching my show and said, hey, Philosopher, I really like your show, but I don't know that much about Mech Arena. I didn't play it before, so I'm going to start playing it. Would we be able to play? The answer is yes. Yes, we could. If you hit like a thousand SP or something, could I still play with you? Yeah, but guess what? The secret is not just lowering my SP to a thousand. Because if I went into an, a match with just a surge, six stars, 1000 SP, one mech, guess what? The bots are gonna be six stars, OP, and that 1000 person that just started isn't gonna do a damn thing. In fact, they're not gonna have a fun time at all. You're gonna have to make your thousand with crappy mechs that are two and three stars. You have to balance it. You can't go into the match with something cheating. The bots will know. So I hope that clears some things up of this myth about SP dropping, you really can't game the matchmaking system that much. It knows, the bots will know if you're trying to bring something into the match that doesn't belong, you will feel it in your HP, you will feel it in the damage that you do. If you wanna balance your hangar, don't pay attention to the SP as much as you are paying attention to the star ranks. That will become increasingly apparent as Gear Hub is released across all accounts because the Gear Hub is in place to make players more paced. It puts the rails on so that you have to rank things lower evenly as you go through the game. You can't just start up here ranking stuff up here. You have to start down here. And if you think about it, then that's gonna balance the matchmaking. That's why all these old players can't have gear hub right away because then we'd just be OP again. They have to do it slow. We have to give the gear hub players that they roll it out to a chance to catch up and get at least to the higher tiers so that they can compete with the people that already have these weapons. But it will in time fix, fix the matchmaking. If you need any tips on a balanced hanger, you can always ask, you could leave a comment, but basically it just comes down to this. If you're playing with someone that's using two or three star stuff, you have to use two or three star stuff too. If you go into a fucking tournament round, like if you, if, if you go into free for all and you see a, a five, six star surge and, and four other crappy mechs, that person, yeah, they're just recycling out to get to their surge faster. Yeah, it's, it's, it's shitty. Are they cheating? I, no, that's just, they're using the system to their advantage, but their bots are not going to be easier. Their matches are not going to be easier. Um, and then, and then one last thing that I wanted to talk about was the neon shop because the neon shop, you know, shitty as those deals are, will give you things that are at three stars, which are underranked and underleveled. God knows you might buy something from the neon shop or someone might buy something and not have the credits or the A coins to level it up or rank it right away, but you still wanna use it. So now you got a three star eclipse your three star eclipse first of all if you're if you're in the four to six thousand sp your three star is not going to do anything it's going to get you, you can't even put it in your team until you until you get it to a viable level otherwise it's just going to die but if you put it on a balanced team of two or three stars 
Eclipse still shines. The game doesn't know, oh, this is a three-star Surge, or this is a three-star Puma. It doesn't know, oh, Surge and Eclipse and Bastion are so much inherently better, even at these lower and unranked levels. So it feels like cheating, for sure. But are these people cheating? You shouldn't just go around accusing people of cheating. Some people just bought stuff and put it on their team. I know if I bought Bastion for $2, which is a great deal, a $2 Bastion at three stars, I would probably just put him in my team. I'd put him in a team of two or three star mechs and honestly, it would probably feel like cheating because it, what, what's on my team that's two or three stars? What haven't I ranked in my hangar? You're gonna be talking about Paragon, Slingshot, Puma, Juggernaut, and then now all of a sudden you have a Bastion. It feels like cheating, but the Bastion is three stars, so you're gonna get three star bots and three star opponents. Mm, can the matchmaking be fixed a little bit? Yeah, certainly. It's not flawless. But, again, the only point I'm trying to make with this video is that it is much, much harder to cheat than anyone might think or accuse you of. So just stop slinging around the insults and have fun. Worry about your own hanger. Worry about balancing your hanger because don't worry about what their hanger's doing. You don't have to worry about their bots or their matches. I promise you their matches are not as easy as you think. They're pretty fucking hard. Take it from someone that spent most of his first couple months playing only leveling up and ranking his Surge and nothing else. And you only have one mech to do anything. And then the match is over. You can watch your other four mechs just pitifully do nothing. Trust me, it's not that easy. It's not an advantage. So just worry about your own hanger. Learn how to balance things so that you can get the boss you need because if your Juggernaut needs beam damage, you're not going to be able to put a Juggernaut in your team with your Eclipse and your Scorpius and your Onyx. And it's not going to do anything. You have to make a lower tier team and you can't cheat the system because the bots will know. This has been a Philosopher rambling segment. I hope it was helpful to anybody. Um, I'm just going to refer people to these videos. Uh, when I see someone that asks a question or that needs to know something about the matchmaking or SP dropping in general, or the Neon Shop. The Neon Shop is the biggest culprit of accusations. It's, it's not people's fault. They start at three stars. They can go in anything. Alright, take care everybody.